Hello, hello, hello. My name is Nicholas Rivas. I talk about politics and stuff. And today we're going to be talking about Cain Velasquez and his uh, attempted murder case. Um, the title of this video, I'm sure you're getting angry and, and, you know, getting pissed off and throwing your computer and punching me. Um, but I want you to hear me out. I, I like Kane. I'm a big UFC guy. I've been watching Kane uh, since his debut. Um, I, I watched him when he did uh, his fight against Brock. I've always been a big Kane fan. He's a Mexican American. I think one of the first Mexican American champions, if not uh, the first. So I, I'm a big fan of him. I, I've always respected and, and loved Kane, and I, I think he he's done great for the sport. And he sounds like a tremendous person. But I think the praise that he's getting for his act of violence is naive at best, um, really dumb at worst. I think Kane. Uh, has every reason to be angry and wanting to uh, harm someone who's hurt a young innocent child, his young innocent child. Um, but for those who don't know, Cain did fuck up and no one should be above the law. Cain Velasquez was uh, chasing down a guy named Harry Galot Jr. Uh, Harry is accused of sexually assaulting his son. Um, so accusation wise Kane rushes tries to get this guy they run off Kane jumps in his car he drives shoots the guy misses and hits the uh alleged perpetrator uh stepfather so thankfully nobody was killed um but many from the UFC MMA community have come out defending Kane now I understand Kane is a beloved figure. He's a great fighter. I mean, he's probably introduced many people to the sport. Um, but I I want people to realize that what Kane is doing and what he's done should not be forgiven. I understand if your child is, you know, saying that they've been hurt or harmed, it's you're gonna see red. But that's not how we make laws. If who I don't agree with with um capital punishment i think the death penalty is wrong on a moral level and a logistic level but in the moment if my loved ones were harmed and i knew the person and we we you know we figured out the crime and we got them in court and we have the choice of a death penalty i'm probably going to take it i want to see that person die and suffer um but that's not how you make laws that's me in an emotional state that's me not thinking logically and i think there's arguments to you know say like do I deserve to bring them pain because they brought pain on me? Maybe. But I think logistically and as someone in a sane mind right now, it's just not right. It's not right to to say that I can take your life. We need to have a due process. Now, if one of those like school shooters or in this case, if this guy, Harry Gallart, did do the crime, um, like we, 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 we confirmed it and he, you know, ended up disappearing in a in a fatal way uh i'm not gonna uh, bad eye i'm not gonna shed a tear um i'm not saying that they don't deserve any sort of suffering because i think it's very easy to 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 say hey screw this guy just burn him you know shoot him in the head he's a he's a terrible guy if he did the crime yeah i i'm not gonna bat an eye but i'm also i'm not gonna like root for for some judge and jury all in one person like kane to come in and say I decide if you've committed the crime, I decide the punishment you get. No, I just, I can't. You're not the the hangman. You're not the judge. You're not the sheriff. We need to let the, the law handle this. And I know that the perpetrator, uh, the criminal, uh, accused criminal, um, was let out on personal recognized bond. Not fully sure what that is, but he was released on bond. So there is that up in the air that he's, probably the one who did it or probably not like we, he's accused so we don't know yet he wasn't fully convicted he's just charged now if you're charged i know people feel that believes that you you've done the crime but that's not how the system works he has to go through the system they may have a lot of evidence on him and i'm not defending him and honestly it sounds like he doesn't if, if kane was that confident i feel like they have something that we don't know but again we don't know in the court they can handle this and this guy could rot in prison 
and have a horrible life and no unintended victim will be harmed like in the process of the courts and the law. What Cain did to take it upon himself was just stupid and reckless. If I did that to any one of your loved ones, if I went and I thought that so-and-so did a crime and I shoot my gun and I hit one of your buddies, I hit one of your family members, I hit you, you would be like, what a dumbass, right? Imagine if Cain chased this guy into a building and burnt the building down, potentially harming other people. You would be like, Cain, what are you, stupid? Because I think that it was very targeted and it looked like a mistake. And I hope he doesn't get like the biggest charge. I think that's why many are defending him. But we don't know that the guy is a a, a criminal just yet. And we don't, we, we can't support people just taking justice in their own hands. I love Cain. But what he did was stupid. And if everybody in their world tried to do stupid shit like this, we would live in a crazy Wild West world. If I heard that my stepdad was shot because some guy was trying to hurt another guy, I would go after that that guy who shot my my you know my stepdad. And then bam, now you have a cycle of what if I miss and I hit another person? Just how stupid this sounds. It's just risky. I understand the heat of the moment, so I forgive that, and I think there should be some levity because of that. But you should get you should get you know uh made a a lesson of because you can't just go around trying to be the judge jury and executioner it just doesn't work like that and we shouldn't incentivize this now if the guy does come out and he he uh is 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 charged and um he's convicted i'm not gonna bat an eye if anything happens to him but right now we don't know that we can't even promise that this guy is the, the the man the monster that we believe so we will have to wait, but I'm sick of seeing this free cane shit from the MMA community. And I'm sick of this people just calling him innocent. I'm sick of people saying he did nothing wrong. He did do something wrong. It was stupid. And you're only saying that because you weren't affected. You weren't in the crossfire of this very dangerous, risky move. Now, again, I forgive it. And I don't think he should have the harshest punishment. Like he should get a, he should be sentenced more than an, an actual, uh, uh, abuser, but something has to be making of this because this is just stupid. That we, we, we can't be the, the cowboys we think we are. Um, and we, we, I'm not talking down to him. Um, I'm talking more to the, the MMA community. Quit feeding into this shit, right? I'm not going to get mad at Kane because he's just, he's in his, ma- like his, his maddest state because understandably he had the most horrid thing happen to him. So that's all it is. That's all I'm saying. Thank you all very much and uh, peace.